What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long time coming. I really do apologize with everything going on, being on lockdown, not being able to leave the house or anything at all like that. It's really been getting to me. My motivation level has been extremely low. Really do apologize, but I hope all of you guys are staying safe. Hopefully you guys understand the situation right now. But we are back and today guys, we are going to be installing the harness bar into the car. Hopefully we can get it fully finished in this car. I think we'll get it all installed, but as far as tying the harnesses to the harness bar, hopefully we can get that done. But let me show you what we're working with. So here we have the harness bar. It is a 49 inch universal one, which I believe all of them actually are universal. Coming into the inside of the car, I already went ahead and removed the seat belts, which I actually have right there. So we already got them all removed. As you can see, there's nothing here. I'll get a light in here so we can see better. But got all of that removed. So pretty much it's just plug and play, get it all installed. And then we're gonna have to go ahead and cut these. These came with the harnesses. We're gonna have to cut these right here, right here. These, I forget what they're called, like T10, T11, something along the lines of that. This is what the harness is actually gonna go in through. It ties to this, which ties into the harness bar. So for whatever reason, mine came with these little bolts and stuff inside. Um, don't know where they're at, but it doesn't really matter because we don't need it. So we're going to go ahead and cut it. Or we can just buy new ones that pretty much are already exactly like that. But why spend money when we can just go ahead and do that? All right, guys. So I got the bars in right now. I went ahead and actually used the OEM bolts. Um, so as you can see, it's not... Well, it swivels. That way we can match it up with the actual bar itself. Don't know. I, I didn't tighten them all the way down yet until everything's actually set in place. So now what I'm trying to do is actually figure out these. Um, the thing did not come with any instructions. So I know these slide in right there. But what I'm trying to figure out is how exactly does it go like that? You know, like that. I, I, that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. So I think... Uh, I'm going to get the harness bar in. Or actually, I'm going to look up some pictures right now. And then I'm going to put the harness bar in. And then that will determine pretty much where these are going to go. All right, guys. I've been going to town on this. Um, it's not yet done. Everything's just loosely bolted in place, as you can see. This and all of this. But um, one concern I have. I looked at references for G35s. And they actually seem to sit about this low. Of course, it's going to come up a little bit more. But my understanding of a harness bar is when the seat's back, the harness bar is supposed to be level to these right up here. And this is gonna sit quite a bit lower, so the harness will go up a little bit and then um, and then shoot into the, you know, that piece right there. But I looked at a, quite a few references on G35s, including one of my friends, and it seems that this is how it looks. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get these bolted up to here, and then, um, just to get a reference point of make sure everything's in place and if it all looks good to me then we'll go ahead and tighten everything down um these we got to tighten the little bolts right there make sure that these don't twist on us and then pretty much get everything set back into place um all the trim and everything so let me go ahead and just do that real quick there's really not much to show to be honest guys uh, so let me just go ahead and get those bolted up and see if everything looks good all right, guys, so go figures. Just like everything else I do, um, the last part, it always gets fucked. This piece right in here, stripped, and then stripped. It stripped the bolts. So I'm going to attempt using this bad boy and get it all re-threaded. Um, I don't have the right thing for this, so we'll have to just figure it out, I guess. So I'm going to hopefully get all of this fixed. Wish me luck. Um... So just now I went ahead and actually tightened everything down. So that's actually how the harness bar looks. It does sit low. Um, I've talked to several people, G35s, they all say that's how it's supposed to be. I thought it would sit higher, but it is what it is. Um, it's extremely, extremely stiff. So next thing is uh, pretty much I just got to get these cut right here, both of them. That's going to be for the seat belts. And then I have a video that uh, a friend of mine sent to me 
on how to tie them properly to the harness bar. So I'll be doing that probably start on these tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll tie the harnesses. I don't know yet, but I'll pick up the camera when we do it. All right, guys, a quick update. Um, I came back out here again this morning and from my research and understanding, um, I actually put the little bolt on wrong. So the seatbelt attaches right here to this and then the other side of the seatbelt attaches to where the plug was on the um, for the OEM seatbelt. So we got those all plugged in. So now I pretty much just have to, like I said before, cut and then attach this to the actual harness bar itself. And for the most part, we're pretty much done. The car is dead, so I can't move it. So the driver's side is gonna be a bit more difficult, um, but I'm probably gonna come out here later today or another day and get these cut, but we will finish at least one seat in the video, in this video. So but that's how it is, super happy. So let's try to get this tucked in. I think it looks better like that. I don't know, no, I like that. So yeah, I already sat in here and um, tightened these up and everything. So um, we're looking good. Yeah, so I mean, this is definitely new for me. I've never messed with harnesses or anything. It's definitely no joke. Um, it's not just for looks, it's for, you know, want it to be functional as well. You know, God forbid if we ever get into an accident, uh, we're gonna really need these to save our life. So I'm trying to do it the right way as possible. And I say as possible, just because I've never done this before. So I'm doing what I see other people do. So comment down below, let me know what you guys think so far. I already made it pretty snug for me. So we'll see. Pull the strap up. You have to like, it's probably tight then. And then those you can pull more too if you need to. And now go forward, see if you can different huh that's what I said cool okay no, huh no, I miss Disney and now you oh you admit this makes you miss Disney yeah <laughs> yeah all right guys so there it is um one of them's done so this is pretty much fitted for her go ahead and buckle that up go there we go. Cool. This is tangled somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play with them a little bit. Oh, there we go. It's not tangled. Cool. But yeah, so that's pretty much that. They're tied. So now uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, jump start the car, get it pulled out, and then back it in so I can focus on the driver's seat because there's not much room over there and i'd rather have more room so i'm just gonna end up doing that tomorrow maybe we'll head to the mall since i'm right next to it and um maybe take some videos and stuff there i don't know since we're pretty close and the mall is closed so there should be a lot of filming space over there but anyways guys um yeah stay tuned again sorry this video was fairly short but i hope you guys enjoyed it hope to catch you on the next one and until next time as always peace out what's up guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be getting the driver's harness installed and then we're going to get the car pulled out for the first time in a few weeks she's dead so we're going to have to jump start it but uh if you guys have not seen my last video all right guys so it's the next day we got uh the driver's sides uh bolted in i just got these lv10s cut so now what we're going to do is pull the seat forward and we're going to begin uh wrapping them actually i need to get the seat back so i need to sit in the middle somehow getting out is not going to be easy i'll have to crawl under the straps when they're tied but uh let's go ahead and get these bad boys in and uh call it done and there we go so we got those tied put the seat back and they're going nowhere so now i'm going to go ahead and sit down inside it 
and get it fitted to how it should be for me. <sighs> it's hard to get these things adjusted. There's that. These were gonna get pulled. I need to actually move my seat back. Oh, I can't even reach the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it right there. Buckle this back and pull. Twisted it? Oh no. Oh god, this. Oh my gosh, really. There. It's so complicated, dude. I'm gonna put my OEM seatbelts back in. Seatbelts. Seatbelts. Well, I guess you did get the bolt through. Well, now this one's all fudged, monkeyed up. <laughs> So much adjustability to get it to fit. Right. It's a good thing, but an annoying thing. Very. It's, I'm already annoyed. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Anthony. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm too fat. Quarantine. Huh? Quarantine. <sighs> oh, suck it in. Oh, I can't even breathe. The wheel. Need to adjust this. The wheel's up there. Need to adjust this. Loosen it up a bit, but whew, there it is. I do not look comfortable at all in this video. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we'll loosen it up more, but it's done. I can breathe. <laughs> all right, guys, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and leave this video off. Um, first impressions, I, it's cool, it's nice. Feels like a race car, feels very sporty um practicality of it i haven't even driven the car yet but i can already tell you it's not comfortable really um for daily driving it's gonna be it's gonna be uncomfortable i think but i think it'll be fun it is what it is worst comes to worst we can always put it back but uh it is what it is um i like it i do a lot it's pretty cool um installing everything was not hard it, it was just a new learning experience, that's for sure. Um, but I'm happy. Hopefully you guys like it. If you guys do, please make sure to smash that thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And subscribe if you guys aren't already. We are on our way to 3,000 subscribers. Um, I do want to apologize for delayed in videos. Um, motivation level has not been fully up there, but I do want to try to jump back into it with everything going on in the world it's kind of hard to get motivated i'm sure you guys uh could understand but um yeah so in the next video we're actually going to get the car jumped right now and get it pulled out maybe take it for a drive and test out the harnesses and just see whatever else we can do maybe get the car washed i don't know engine bay definitely needs it but um hope to catch you all in the next one until next time guys as always peace out and stay safe